shot and killed. Tonight, 10 children are without the woman who cared for them most after her life was cut short. And Fox 5 News at 5 begins tonight with Denise Dillon, live in DeKalb County. Denise? Yeah, the woman was shot and killed right outside this restaurant. It's called the Brick House. It's in East Atlanta. You can see where the glass was shattered by bullets. Now, the woman who runs this place says it was her cousin who was shot and killed while she was trying to make peace between two women. Everybody know her. She was she was good people. Friends say Charlize Brooks, who everyone called Beasley, was always ready to help. They say that's what this young mother of 10 was doing the night she was killed outside this restaurant in East Atlanta. They say she was trying to break up an argument between two women when one of them pulled out a gun. We all was running. When I came back, I seen Beasley. She was on the ground. So I immediately started CPR on her. Brooks was hit multiple times and died here on the sidewalk. The shooter took off, but Atlanta police say this woman, Terry Williams, turned herself in Wednesday. That person will be charged with the murder of our victim last night. Williams is in jail, but that doesn't lessen the pain of losing Beasley. Friends say the 34-year-old was a business owner, and she loved to rap. Her stage name was Miss Atlanta. But they say her children came first, all 10 of them. She had four biological children, and she had custody of six others. The oldest is in his first year of college. The youngest is just four years old. This is a tragedy. <laughs> it's senseless. It's, this is senseless. Now, a cousin told me that two of Ms. Brooks' children were out here on the sidewalk when those deadly shots were fired. The rest of the children are all being cared for by family members tonight. Live in East Atlanta, Denise Dillon. Fox 5 News. Such a terrible loss.